Hello and welcome back. So in this session we're going to have a look at creating some DNA um, for our Daz character. Um, this is going to include morphs and bone uh, adjustments. Now um, we're going to be using the new DNA uh, system which has been added uh, right at the end of development of version 2.8. Um, at the time that I'm releasing this video, 2.8 is not the version that's on the Asset Store. So just double check that. If it's still 2.7 in the Asset Store, head over to the UMA GitHub and download UMA from there. Okay, so um, this is where we left off. We have our uh, guy here. We've got all of the slots and stuff. He's welded together. It looks really nice. So let's start creating some DNA to mess around with him. Um, just if we have a quick look at our guy's UMA renderer, we can see all the blend shapes that we created. Um, one in particular I'm going to mess around with here is this bodybuilder size. Let's just have a look in edit mode and this one I want to put some DNA on. So we're going to create a slider called muscular um, to increase this value. Something else I'm going to do, uh, I don't just want to use the morph, I actually want to separate his shoulders a little, just to make them actually pop out a touch from the body, just to give him a bit more width when we had muscular. So we're, we're going to create a slider that will affect both a morph and some bones at the same time. Once you've seen that, you should be able to create uh, sliders that will do almost anything. And that's what's great about this new system. It lets us combine lots of different things together and affect them with one slider. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, uh, let's create ourselves a folder. So inside my UMA folder here, I'm going to create um, a folder called DNA. And this is where we're going to store all of our created files. Um, so the first thing we need, let's have a look at our UMA um, race data. Over here you'll notice we have something called the DNA converter list. If I drop this down, there's nothing in there. So the first thing we actually need is to create a DNA converter behavior to sit in here. So this is what's going to actually connect sliders with um, adjustments to the UMA. So let's make one of those first. So in our DNA folder, create UMA DNA and there's two that look very similar here but we want this behavior we're going to use the controller later on so create a dynamic DNA converter behavior let's have a look inside our folder and let's just rename this so instead of new we'll put uh, G8M for our Genesis 8 mail and you can see it needs a couple of things here Let, let's go back to that but First, I'd like to assign this to our race data. So let's just drag this up into our converter list. And you can see that gets added just there. So that's all hooked up, ready to go. Um, so let's have a look at what we need for our converter. And basically, it's like I said, we need a list of sliders, which is this DNA asset. And then we need a list of things that those sliders will affect which is this converter controller, okay? So first of all, let's create this DNA asset and hook it up. So right click, create UMA DNA, and we want a dynamic DNA asset. Uh, again, let's rename it. This is gonna be G8M. And if we look here, this is, like I said, a list of slider names. So let's add one. Just while we're here, I was talking about this muscular effect I want to add, and that's been created. We need to hook this in to our converter behavior. So you can see there's a blank area there. Let's just drop that in. Lovely, that's happy. Um, before we go any further, uh, let's add this converter controller. Okay, so we'll create one of those as well. So create UMA DNA converter controller so that's our third component so we really don't need to make anything else now um, there are some other assets do get created but they get dealt with automatically so we need not worry about them 
So this converter controller, again, this is where we start adding all of the adjustments that we want to make. For now, I just want to drop that in to my behavior. So you can see now the behavior has its DNA asset, the sliders and the controller, which are the things that are going to be controlled by the sliders. Um, so what I would say um, is it's worthwhile thinking about what sliders you're going to have and what you want them to do. It's worth um, maybe loading up uh, your Uma without any animation on. For example, at the moment, he's got that locomotion animation going on. Um, oh, incidentally, if we have a look now, you can see my muscular slider is there. doesn't do anything because we haven't hooked it up with the controller, but uh, that's ready to go for us. But while he's animating, you can't mess around with bones, which you might want to do. You might want to scale things, move them around and see what's happening. So what I'd maybe suggest while you're doing this is to go into your race animation controls and just clear that out. Uh, when you generate, you will get a warning saying you haven't got an animator, but that's exactly what we're after. Okay, that's good. So when I go into here now, for example, if I want to have a look at the shoulders, which I was talking about, let's just head through this and there we have a look at these collarbones. I want to make these move outward. It's worth looking at what axis you want to move um, because it's not always obvious. So I'm going to see, I think it's the X. Yeah, the X moves the shoulders in and out. Quite drastic effect I'm getting there, but that's the axis I want to fiddle with. So the X axis of these shoulders. Right. Um, so let's head into our convert a controller and start looking at creating some morphs if you like so let's hit run and over here in my converter list i'm going to take a look at this add converters drop down now when we drop it down uh, there's quite a list appears here um, so we can add a converter that will uh, adjust blend shapes um, will adjust bone pose, which we might have a look at later, which will adjust colors, uh, scale, or the skeleton. Um, these are for you to play with. I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but we will touch on two or three of them, I think. The first one I want to look at is this skeleton DNA converter. And this is, if you're used to Uma, this is typical bone adjustment DNA. So if I drop one of these in here and say add, you can see that appears in our converter list. If I open it up, this is where we can start adding our adjusters. So first thing I want to do is add a, add a modifier for a particular bone. Now when we look through here, we had these collar bones we wanted to adjust. Let's just double check that name. Um, there we are, R collar and L collar. So let's start with saying, I want this to affect L collar. Okay, and I want to affect the position. You'll notice that you can affect rotation and scale as well. But let's just add this one. So that appears in the weight list. Let's drop this down. Um, we can also choose which axis of that bone we want to affect. We saw before it was the X axis, so let's stick with that. And let's add a slider that's going to modify the X axis of this bone. So if I hit plus um, I can choose the muscular slider and there's something called the evaluator here which is the curve that is if the effect of our slider big list of them here we'll have a look at a couple of those but they're for you to explore but at the moment I'm just going to leave it as it is and just attach this muscular slider that should work now so if I head over back to my character and move my slider nothing works and this is because to make that register I just need to stop and rerun and now you can see we can get that slider to move our bone now this is no good this isn't what I want uh, it's a massive effect way too much um, and it's also inverted I want the shoulders to move out as I move up and in as I move down so let's go and fiddle with that so open up our converter. First thing, I'm going to 
put inverted on the evaluator that will reverse the direction and I'm going to modify this multiplier um, I'm going to put 0 0.05 in there and let's have a look again once you've restarted and got that bone movement to register any values you change will be affected immediately you don't need to drop out of runtime so we can see here that's a much nicer effect yeah that's quite subtle that's what I'm after um, what I don't want, I don't want the shoulders to move in as this goes down. So I'm actually going to limit this as well. So let's have a fiddle in here. And one of these, now I'm inverted, so I'm going to guess if I limit the maximum value, that that should stop it. There you can see it's not having any effect below halfway, but above halfway it's coming out. That's brilliant. Okay, that's great. But I actually want this to affect both shoulders at the same time. So let's make that happen. So back into here, I'm going to add a new modifier, and this one will be for our collar. Again, position, let's add that. And the X value, so let's add a controller for that. And let's use the same slider muscular this time because it's on the other side of the body let's leave this in that direction and let's limit the minimum value rather than the maximum because the bones the other way around so let's see what happens there and great you can see that is working but I've forgotten to adjust the scale so <laughs> let's go back and do that so we've had zero five up here let's put the same down here and we should have that same effect there we go on both sides excellent exactly what I want okay so that's a bone morph done which is uh, pretty straightforward obviously I haven't spent any time adding morph bones to this Daz character so that I'm limited in what I can do but that's a perfectly valid uh, morph that we've got there um, what I also want to do I want to use that blend shape to increase his muscle mass when the slider goes up so I need to add a new morph so let's head back into our converter controller now in the past this would mean you would have to have a separate DNA slider um, and connect it to a different set of DNA this new system allows us to collect lots of different DNA in one package so here I'm going to add a new converter called a, a blend shape DNA converter let's add that that comes onto our list and when I drop it down I can add a new blend shape and one of the first things it wants is the name of the blend shape so let's have a look over here oh good conveniently I've left these huge long names which hopefully I can remember as I type in so I want this bodybuilder size one to be what's being affected so let's head back over and tap that name in so it's genesis 8 mail underscore underscore conveniently um, fbm body builder size we'll quickly find out if that's right or not and let's add some modifying DNA and we'll add muscular to that okay so let's head over and see if that works uh, now again at the moment it's just doing the bones still so let's quickly stop and restart just to register that change and now what we should see if we look out here we should see we're actually getting the muscle mass change as well it's not as much as I had hoped for and in fact let's have a little look at the renderer and you can see it's only brought this up to 50 instead of 100 and the reason for that is uh, your sliders work as this being 0 this being plus 0.5 and down at the bottom being minus 0.5 so I need to multiply that to get the full effect so if we go back into our DNA change up blend shape and let's multiply that by 2 that should do the trick head back over into my DNA there we go we're getting the full effect let's just check that on the renderer yep 
getting 100 and there we are so you have just created a single slider which affects both bones and the blend shape of a character let's very quickly put our animator back on uh, that's over here so locomotion and just double check everything works while he's wandering around there we go very straightforward to get some really complicated effects so this new system um, as you may have noticed down here it's actually added its own converter systems itself we didn't have to create these assets let's just close that forget about it and never look in there again but uh, all we needed was these three assets the actual behavior which is something which was always in UMA um, the DNA asset which allows us to create our sliders and the converter controller which allows us to add as many controllers as we want to control whatever we want so very easy to use have a play with these other systems um, the bone pose DNA is very useful in fact I think I'll record a video for us to have a look at that after I finish this one okay so um, hope you get on fine with that let me know and uh, thank you for listening and once again I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible uh, if you would like to support me feel free to click that link at the end of the video thank you very much and I'll see you next time